My name is Ann Wright and I'm a retired U.S. Army Colonel and a former U.S. diplomat. I helped reopen the U.S. Embassy in Kabul, Afghanistan in December of 2001, 19 almost going on 20 years ago. President Trump has announced that he wants to bring home 2,500 of the remaining 4,500 U.S. military that are in Afghanistan and I support that. I also support his bringing home the 10,000 U.S. military contractors that we also have there. We've been there for 19 years. It's cost $2 trillion. It's killed over 200,000 Afghans. It's killed 2,500 U.S. military. It's uh, wounded hundreds of thousands in Afghanistan and tens of thousands in the U.S. and its allies. Um, it's been a source of graft and corruption for both the U.S. contractors as well as uh, some senior officials in the Afghan government. Over $130 billion has been spent on economic assistance, developmental assistance, and yet 90% of the people of Afghanistan are still in poverty. If you look at the long-term consequences, it's another war that has failed to protect people. Here we have a whole selection of books that I've collected over the many years of the Afghan war. And they tell the story of of the military conflict that the U.S. has. And it also, they also tell the stories of many of the women and children that have been a part of this. But the book that I think is most relevant for us is this book, The Withdrawal from Afghanistan that was written 10 years ago by Nick Terse, The Case for Withdrawal from Afghanistan. It's relevant today, and we need to get out of Afghanistan. Thank you.